Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we're on the Enduring Legacy banner, which is a genealogy banner. Wait, it's genealogy, right? Not Thracia. Okay, it is genealogy. I get those confused sometimes. And it's got Aranus, Enand, Anand, Enand, 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 Azel, and Lex. Of these, I'm probably going to go for Aranus the most. Um... Not because she's a Lance Flyer. She just happens to be a Lance Flyer. I like um, I like her the most of these units besides the fact that she's a Lance Flyer. And then Anand is second. You know, it's basically just in the order that the, that the heroes are showing up right here. That's the order I'm going to summon for them in. Um, I'm hoping to get to the spark. Unfortunately, there's no colorless focus, which stinks because Jafar is on colorless. And I really want to get Jafar. And he's on the four-star focus for colorless, but I can't summon for him unless I were to just waste orbs. We're going to get Aranus on the three summon? Are you kidding me? I am baffled. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. I'm still going to summon on blues, though, because she has really good skills. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting uh, her blue B-Duel flying four for somebody, and maybe chill attack speed or attack... Well, yeah, attack defense rain would be good if I put it on, like, a, a lance flyer or a blue bow flyer. I can't put it on a blue mage flyer if I were to inherit B-Duel flying four to them. Uh, but I definitely will continue something on blues. And when I first saw, um, I think Aranus was the last person who showed up in the trailer. When I first saw Aranus, I thought it was, I thought they just thrown in a different... A games character because I don't know genealogy at all. I thought they had just thrown in uh, Valentian Paula, which I'm just like, oh, I, I'd be hyped for both. I mean, I I, I like Paula. Um, I don't know anything about Aranus except just judging from what people have said, she marries Luin, Luin? and then Sed is their kid. Uh, I get I gathered that I forgot Sed was Luin's son, but uh, I gathered that Sed was her son because of the forging bonds. I didn't pay too much attention to the forging bonds um, because I was just trying to get the tickets. I go back, I, I'm, I'm trying to go back to look at the forging bonds after, wow, fourth, fourth, fourth three star in a row. That's fine, we got we got Aranus on the free summon so it's not that big of a deal. I'm hoping to get some good five stars off of the four star, the four star special Summon focus. Four star special rate. Wow, another three star. Starting this off strong. I think I have a pretty clear barracks. I'll probably have to clear it out soon though because I don't exactly have a whole lot of space in my barracks for new units because I need to I need to go through all of my five stars and figure out who I need to merge and who I need to turn into combat manuals and stuff like that. Uh, but that's fine. First four star since since the first... Actually, this is the first four-star in general. We got five three-stars right after a five-star, and not a single four-star in between. All right, so we're at 3.25 now. The four-star special rate does go down slightly, but we've got the same chance to get a four-star special rate hero that we do to get a four-star focus hero. And if we're not summoning on greens, then we'll less likely get him. I think, he get, I think he's getting demoted to three-star... Uh, Lex's, which is really good because he's got a really good axe. It's basically like Sword Heart's sword, but as an axe and only for him. Uh, so it's really, he's a really good free to play ish option because you can just summon him on green. He'll just show up randomly. He's, he won't be as exclusive as a five star unit because a five star exclusive unit because he'll come as three star and four star. If I'm remembering that correctly. I'm pretty sure he's getting demoted to 3 and 4. Not just 4 and 5. Okay, we're going to get Henry. I'm hoping to get some more of them 4 star special rates though. Because those are pretty pretty cool to watch. Uh, I got Ryoma. Ryoma is the only 4 star special rate hero that I've summoned so far. Uh, and that was on the last banner I summoned on. Which was the Valentine's banner. Um, wow, another 3 star in blue. Blue is not being too kind to me. Well, blue is the only color that's given me a five star. So I take that back. Blue's, 
Blue's also the one that's giving me the most three stars, but only because blue's the, been the color that's shown up the most, I think. Wow, I'm getting a lot of three stars. I think most of my luck was depleted in that, that free summon. <laughs> that's fine, though. Once I get to that 40th... Once I get to that 40th summon, I will... Depending on if I get Anand, 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 Anand depending if I get her beforehand, uh, I'll probably use it on her. If I get her beforehand, I'll probably use my 40th summon on another Aranus. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get, I don't know, what are some four star special rate heroes that I want to get maybe one day? Um... All right, Anand is not one of the four-star special rates, but she is one of the five-star focus units. All right, so we we got lucky between the reds and we got Anand. Um, although I wouldn't mind getting um, the other red unit because he's got red dual infantry four. She's got sturdy impact, so I wouldn't mind getting more of her. She's also got guard bearing, which is the two same skills that uh, Summer Ingrid, Ingrid had. Uh, but she doesn't have the same weapon as Ingrid. She does have a good sword, though. Alright, so that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The IVs don't matter too much as long as I don't get minus this attack or minus speed on them. But I'm going to continue to summon on red because I do want to get... I wouldn't mind getting another Anand, and I do... I also do want to get uh, the red dual infantry. I don't think I'll put it on anybody, but I wouldn't mind having it just in case I want to put it on somebody. I It is cool that they added Red Duel Infantry 4 because not only does it give you 5 HP, but it also gives you plus 2 to every stat. So it's like, if you wanted to use somebody for your Arena Core, uh, it's basically plus 10-ing them. If you plus 10 them, then they would also be plus 5. So they'd basically be plus 15 because they'd have a plus 2 to every stat. And then if you... If you gave them the Dragon Flowers, I think that's another... Plus, like, I don't know, something. It depends. But it is pretty cool that it gives you more than just HP. And if you put it on somebody who's not legendary or mythic, it's 180 for your um, your BST, your base stat total. But if you put it on a legendary or mythic hero, it'll be uh, 175, which is still better than the, inf uh, the dual skills that we already had. We got four green stones. All right, we got one Lex. Okay, I would prefer not to get him at 5-star just because he's getting demoted, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I did get him at 5-star because he would be a good unit to plus 10. Um, and then if you give him if you give him a distant counter or, well, probably distant counter, and then maybe Vantage, he'd be really good at knocking people out if, if he had low health. I don't know, how would you be able to get him to low health? You'd have to, like, know how to get him to low health without him dying. Uh, I probably won't do Vantage. If he has a good enough speed, Desperation wouldn't be bad. Um, I don't know exactly what B skill you, you would use on a Cavalry unit for that kind of build, where you just give him Distant Counter and they can... As long as they can take one hit, they can kill the, the uh, character they're fighting. I don't know, which... I'm gonna be a good B skill. Oh, oh, I it's Sonya, Sonya. I didn't have her yet. Okay, we got a five star, a four star special rate. We got Sonya. I didn't have Sonya yet. All right, that is good. That is that is what I like to see. I like to see the four star special rate because not only did we get her, she's new and she didn't disrupt our appearance rates and she's plus speed. I don't know if that's good for her or not. To be honest, I don't uh, I don't know what her what good her what her good IVs are. Um, but I didn't have her yet, so I will gladly take a Sonya, and then eventually I'll level her up. Maybe. Uh, there's a lot of units I need to level up. And our appearance rates are 3.25 now. So, I, mean, I, I don't, I don't, I want to, I want to look to see what all green units that could have been. Um, but I didn't have Sonya, and I wanted Sonya. I wouldn't mind getting Hector's, because he has got Distant Counter. So it's, it's not... A lot easier but it is it is it is okay it is kind of a lot easier but it's not like it's not like super easy it's not super easy to get this encounter but it is a lot easier to get this encounter now 
Same with close counter. Close counter was harder to get than distant counter because for a while they were putting distant counter on a lot of, like pretty much every other unit uh, that was infantry or uh, melee. But then they stopped doing that, and then they were giving some actual new and good skills. I don't know. There's a, I don't. Okay, not every other unit. There's, there was, a, there was a lot more distant counter fodders in the summoning pool uh, right now than there was before. Okay, I didn't have Percival. I thought I did have him at one point in time. I didn't have him. But I don't mind because he is Binding Blade. And for a while I had all the Binding Blade characters. So now, I think I just need I Green, Summer Wolt, and Legendary Lilina. Maybe one other person. I don't remember. But that knocks off one Binding Blade character that I need. That's pretty good. All right, I can do the full circle heal. Here. Heal. Big ol' circle heal. Alright, let's see what we can get. Marth. Marth, Marth, Marth. Altaian Prince Marth. He won the... Well, he should have come first place, to be honest, in the voting... Or, uh, the Choose Your Legends, but he came second because of Gatekeeper, and obviously Gatekeeper was in the, sum, or in the voting, so people were going to vote for Gatekeeper. Two four-star special rates. This one's Rajat. I have the Rajat. I don't remember her IVs. I think she's plus defense. I wouldn't mind getting a better Rajat because for a while I used Rajat as my main green mage whenever I got her a long time ago. This one is plus res. Okay, I guess I didn't use her as much as I thought I did, but I used her a lot. She was my, like my go-to green mage for a while because I didn't have too many five-star green mages. All right, that's pretty good because that doesn't disrupt our appearance rates. And that's two four-star special rate heroes. And <laughs> you could get four-star special rate heroes in a circle in a better chance of getting a five-star. Well, maybe. But it would just make it seem like you got a, you could get a circle full of five-stars, but really only like one of them is a focus unit or just a, an actual five-star. Rajat is a four-star special rate. Um, she is a five-star. I don't know what you would even... I mean, she was she she is actually a five star. It's not like she's pretending to be a five star or something like that. It's just hard to classify them because they are five stars, but like they they start as four star whenever you originally summon them, and then they get automatically promoted to five star. It's 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 a little confusing and weird, but I mean I'm not going to complain because it is it is really cool. I wouldn't mind getting some more of them, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to clear my barracks, so I'll be right back. All right, so I've cleared out my barracks. I'm going to continue to summon. We just need 11 more stones to summon. All right, so I remembered while I was clearing out my barracks, or maybe it was after, I don't remember, that from green, I need multiple people, but the top priority from green for the four star special rate is uh, Fallen Robin because he's the only Fallen unit I don't have, um, except for a Halloween Fallen Robin. I don't know if that counts or not, though, because it's, like, seasonal. It's not quite... It's, it's like, a weird gray area. If I'm not counting seasonal units, then um, male Fallen Robin is the only uh, Fallen unit that I'm missing. Uh, and then from blue, I think I'm just missing... Female Morgan, Nephany, and Tana? Maybe one other person. I want, of those three, I probably want Nephany the most. I wouldn't mind getting a Nephany. Um, if I were to, if I wanted a unit from that color that I didn't have from the four-star special rate. And then red, I think I'm missing like four characters. I think I'm missing Aira, uh, Sigurd, Grey, and Mia. There might be somebody else too. I, I, there could be. I wish, I wish there was a colorless unit for the focus on this banner because then I could summon and maybe get Jafar. Uh, I'm only missing Jafar and Jenny from the first year's uh, colorless five stars. But I had Jafar. I had Jafar a long time ago. And if I get Jafar again, I'm probably going to invest heavily into him simply because of what I did to him all those years ago. And not knowing what I was doing and foddering him off to Brave Lynn because I needed life and death three. 
and I didn't want to spend 20,000 feathers on Hannah? I think it was Hannah. I think Hannah was the one with life and death at the time uh, from the four star pool. We're getting a lot of three stars again, uh, but we have gotten technically three five stars from our five star appearance rates, but we also got Rajat and Sonya from the four star special rate. This could be another four star special rate hero. Nope, it's gonna be Lex. Okay, I thought it was a five star for a second. Which, I mean, I, it wouldn't be a bad thing, but I, well, I mean, I've only got three more summons left before I can do the free 40th summon. Um, I don't know if I wanna use my 40th summon on a Zell or not. I might just use it on Aranus either way, because there's not really anybody, if I were to not keep him, just like get him to 7,000 HM or whatever, and then fodder him to somebody, there's not really anybody I would fodder our dual infantry for to right now. Um, but if I had an extra Aranus, I would fodder B dual flying to somebody, because there's a lot of blue flying units that would benefit from that. Um, maybe we can get an Aranus here. If we get another Aranus, then I may consider Azel. Uh, but if we don't get another Aranus here, then. Yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably won't do Azel. If I get Azel here, then that would be great, but it's not a big deal if I don't get Azel here. Oh, we're at three and a half percent now. So there's a decent chance of getting Azel. Or it could be a four star special rate hero. I wouldn't mind that. Nope, it's Seth. All right, that's fine. It's just Seth. Seth, when he first came out, he was. I didn't summon him for the longest time when he first came out. He didn't show up in my barracks for months after he first came out. Maybe even a year. It was a long time. Seth was the only four-star unit for the longest time that I didn't have. I eventually got him, obviously. I've summoned plenty of him since then. But for the longest time, I didn't get any Seth. Okay. Um, should I summon on that colorless stone? Yes. I should summon on that colorless stone because we're going to end off on a five-star Lex, uh, which is not a bad thing. This is the last summon I was going to do, so it breaks my appearance rates. I am fine with that. Um, but, uh, well, I really need plus attack for him. He does have axe experience. Does that, is that, I think that's four-star? That's really good because we didn't have any axe experience in the four-star pool, I don't think. Um, there might be somebody... Uh, but maybe, maybe we can get Jafar here, or Ginny, or a three-star. Okay, it's at least a four-star. Jafar or Ginny? George. Okay, starts with the same, the same sound, J. It was close. Um, not the right range unit. Uh, Jafar is a dagger and Ginny is a healer. You are a bow. All right, so we're going to use our free five-star summon on Aranus because she's got that B-Duel flying. And I have plenty of units that can be useful for that. And um, I, I wouldn't mind getting another Aranus in the future. Um, like just randomly or on a, on a banner she's a focus for. Uh, or on like a legendary banner, she might show up on that sometime in the future. Don't look down on her because of her inexperience. And she's neutral. Okay, just making sure they didn't change it to her. They have random IVs, which would be interesting. Uh, but we have we reset our appearance rates, so I don't need to feel like I have to break the appearance rates. And we've got we got like the size of the 40th summon. We got like five five stars. Um, we got one Aranus, one Anand. We got one Lex right at the end, and then we got Percival, and we also got Sonia and Rajat from the four star special rate. So all in all, that is a really good. That's six five stars, and then the free the free fortieth summon. So that's all in all pretty good, um, pretty good appearance rates. We got one more four star special rate than we did last time, and all three of the ones that I've summoned so far are useful to me because I I will gladly accept merges for Rio and Rajat, and I didn't have Sonya yet. So that'll be the end of this video. If you liked the video, leave a like. Check out my other videos in, in the, uh, well, just on my channel. I don't really have a link for other videos in the description, but I do have a link to my Twitch channel and my Twitter in the, the description below if you are interested. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.